How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews back with Mystery Beer, son. A little bit of Mystery Beers, courtesy of my boy Ryan from No Hate Beer Reviews. There you go, a little bit of Ryan Guzna. Goodness, his name's Kyle. I just like to call him Ryan. To fuck with people. So, word of warning. I have had two beers, too. Well, I reviewed two beers uh, before I reviewed this one. Typically, I go into... Um, look at this old fucking bottle opener. I forgot. I, had, I, I didn't have a bottle opener. I went into the, our garage here. And uh, looked for one, and I found this one. And this thing is going to give me the tetanus. Uh, anyway, um, usually I do mystery beers first. Uh, but being that this is a bottle, being that it comes from Kyle, I assume this is a huge, gigantic, barrel-aged monstrosity. So I saved it for the end. So my palate might, be, might not be perfect, but I didn't want to blow the fuck out of it. Um, because that's what Kyle does. Anyway, um, yeah, look at this. Who would have thunk it? Never would have guessed it. That looks like a gigantic, huge beer. Um, I mean, stout. It barely stout because there's really no head on it. I didn't even pour it all that nicely, but it looks like a big, huge barrel each stout. There you go. Let's see if we get a nose. It's not that big of a nose, man. It's not. It's got soft bourbon vibes, um, a rich chocolate with a little bit of barrel char kind of going on. I'm almost, it has to have some time on it. It has to have some age on it because I'm really kind of second guessing myself on a barrel aged thing. It has to be because there's soft bourbon notes, barrel char, all that stuff, but there's no heat to it whatsoever. But I'm guessing based off of the nose, based off of the look, based off of just Kyle being Kyle, uh, this is uh, probably a double digit beer at minimum. Yeah. Man, that chocolate comes off so cool. It's like a roasted malt chocolate with like this nice bittering kind of uh, uh, baker's chocolate kind of thing going on. It is really decadent. There's not a huge sweet portion of the show here, but I think that's tricking me a bit because there's no heat to it. It's a little bit of soft, sweet kind of cherry bourbon-y stuff done and done. I don't think there's much here other than Core 4 and Bourbon Barrel. We're going to find out more in the taste. Cheers. What is that? There has to be. There has to be. What is that? Some kind of fruit addition to this? Uh oh, tacos here. Watch out. Shit's about to get wild. Um, <laughs> oh, buddy. Um, yeah, there's a. There's this really, really cool, like, it comes out to me like grape, um, but it probably, I mean, it could be a, a, a rich red wine kind of barrel involved in this, as opposed to a bourbon, maybe that's what I'm getting. Yeah, it comes off like grape Kool-Aid to me, that fruit portion of the show. I'm sure it's something more simple. I'm sure it's raspberry or blackberry, something like that. But it really does come off like grape to me. Kind of has me rethinking the whole beer now. Um, I mean, the way this roast comes off and the way that kind of smokiness and charriness kind of comes off, it has to come from a spirit barrel. It doesn't drink huge, but it has to be a double-digit beer. I don't think I've had this beer before. I'm just going to start making shit up in my brain. Um, yeah, what is this? What is this? Yeah, it tastes like grape Kool-Aid to me. I'm going to say it's a bourbon barrel aged, 11.3% bourbon barrel aged stout rested on grape must. That's what I'm going for in this one. As far as time goes, a little bit of oxidation, nothing too crazy. 2015? 16. 16. 2016, burn barrel aged stout, 11.3% great must, done and done. I really like this beer, let's put it that way. I don't know who made this, but I do away the shit out of this, whatever this is. It has to have a little bit of time on it. It has to have some kind of fruit. If this is coming off from core four, the way this fruit is coming off, it's insane. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, we have Black Note. 
I have not had this. Um, I have not had this in so long. Um, Bell's Black Note is a multi-harmony multi -harmony of dark chocolate, espresso, and dried fruit notes. Aged and freshly retired oak bourbon barrels aimed squarely at with stout aficionados. Black Note makes a grand statement about uh, the art of the dark. Uh, and this is the 2016 bottle. So I said 2016, right? That's when I landed on. So I nailed the date on it. Um, I'm, I'm all about myself on that one. Uh, what did I say? 11.3, 11 11.2% I called out the ABV to be and the ABV on this. See that shit? That'd be 11.2%, so it's 0 0.1 off. Um, I'm, I'm 1 billion percent okay with what I said here. Man, this there's this grape, Kool-Aid grape bubblicious. Um, that's what I didn't think, say. Thing to it. I mean, they talk about this kind of on the back here. They talk, um, espresso in dried fruit notes. Espresso, mm, I mean, I, you know, almost can get any kind of coffee notes from a big beer like this. But even with the, the time on it, I don't think it's really coming off coffee like to me. But I'm also not going to get angry about me not saying that. But man, the way that fruit comes off, it really does come off as that grape Kool-Aid, grape bubblicious, grape mustiness. That's why I landed so hard on that one. So, I mean, if you strip that from it, and I and here's the, here's the part where I get really kind of pretentious about it. It's there. It has. I'm not wrong. Okay, I am not wrong in this aspect. That is there. So let's let's take that piece and put it off to the side. Because that flavor profile is there. It's there. Um, you know, uh, so I called a 11.2% bourbon barrel aged imperial stout. That was a 2016. I don't think you get better than that. Other than naming the actual fucking beer and skipping the part about the Bubblicious. Um, I don't think you get better than that. You know, I've named a couple of beers. Um, that's probably the, the, the only time I would even get better on a mystery beer. But this is a really fun beer, really delicious beer. I've had this several times. I have not had it in quite some time. Um, so it's really cool to revisit, especially on a mystery kind of end of things. Thank you very much, Kyle. This is super appreciative, dude. Because I know this is a delicious beer, and I know it's like, it used to be kind of like a semi-whale back in the day, but it's kind of relatively easier to get now. But back in 2016, this is kind of a big deal to get. So for you to send one of these off from your cellar, super cool of you, dude. So thank you very much. But yeah, fun, delicious. What more can I say? Is it one of the better burn barrel eight stouts that I've had as of late? Is it one of the best? I don't think it's Mount, it's not Mount Rushmore status. Definitely worthy of the conversation. It's definitely up there. Is it one of the more interesting? Again, with that kind of uh, little caveat that I like to throw out there every now and then. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's uber interesting, uber fun, and just kind of just makes me happy. Just kind of diving in that, that grape bubblicious, grape musty thing out of this world. Valued availability. I forget what these cost. I think retail, they got to be less than 10 bucks a bottle, I believe. But, you know, I don't know what the value and availability was. Actually, Kyle, let me know what you paid for this when you bought it. I don't know if you bought it recently or you bought it back in 2016. But let me know and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like OG style barrel aged stouts. I mean, this is giving you a lot of, a lot of fruit. A lot of cool chocolate notes, something a little bit more expressive than your base bourbon, bourbon barrel aged stout. So it's a little bit more nuanced, a little bit more subtle, a little bit more um, kind of complex, if you will. Uh, so if you like interesting, tasty, non two by the non two by four to the face layered beers, you'll like this one. So there you go, another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there, if you want to talk about it, massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, beer massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a little bit of a mystery beer right now, and hopefully see you next time. Cheers.